Hello everybody. So this is uh, Shrikant Dasari from uh, Dasari Tuts. Okay. So in this lesson, uh, we are going to uh, learn about uh, so how to take a, a string as an uh, input uh, from keyboard in the console uh, uh, output. Okay. So when you are uh, if you if you want to take an string uh, literal uh, from keyboard uh, at the time of uh, at the time of running your program or else after running the program. Uh, so we need to uh, we can make use of a buffered buffered uh, reader class okay so in the last lesson we have uh, observed uh, how to take a, a single character as input uh, using a buffered uh, reader class so now we are going to deal with uh, uh, so that buffered reader class and take uh, uh, the string as an input or else in the matter of fact uh, it get the whole line of text or a single st or a single uh, string as input from keyboard okay so first let me uh, launch the ID. I'm creating a new project here uh, in our NetBeans ID. So I'm just naming the project as uh, uh, buffered uh, string input. Okay. So whatever you wanted. Uh, so buffered string input is the name I have given. So as we know that uh, NetBeans creates some stuff automatically. So I'm just uh, I just got rid of uh, whatever the NetBeans queues as automatically. So I'm just writing the code from the scratch. So first line is a package. Uh, so let's name over the package as preferred uh, string input. Okay. So semicolon. So next, as we know that we need to import uh, uh, Java uh, I/O package. Uh, so since we are using uh, so buffered uh, buffered reader class, which is defined uh, inside. Uh, uh, or uh, which is defined uh, inside the uh, IO package here. Okay, so now uh, our public class definition goes like this: uh, buffered, uh, buffered string input. Okay. So inside our uh, class, we need to have our uh, main. So all the basic stuff. Okay. So public static uh, white uh, main uh, string args. Okay, so as we have uh, uh, known from the last lesson, it's always uh, we need to add this statement uh, throws IO exception. Uh, so if you are, when you are dealing with uh, IO uh, package or uh, methods regarding uh, uh, IO, uh, so IO uh, package or IO uh, or the classes which you are using, which are uh, uh, defined inside the IO package here. Okay, so we have done with our very basic. Uh, dot java file so now we need to so here our intention is to take uh, a string as an input uh, from the keyboard so to do that uh, so first uh, we need to take create an object for uh, so for the buffered uh, reader class here okay so buffered uh, so buffered reader uh, br so let's say the name of the object is buffered reader br is equal to new so buffered reader so within that, uh, as we have seen in the last lesson, uh, we need to create uh, an object, uh, or else we need to instantiate uh, that uh, input stream reader class with uh, system dot in as uh, an argument. Uh, system dot in. Okay. So this is the whole new syntax. Don't get weird about uh, this kind of syntax. If you practice a couple of times, you will get habituated to uh, this kind of uh, environment here. Okay. So when compared to uh, a buffered reader uh, uh, way of taking input from keyboard, a scanner class is very very easy and most efficient also. Okay. So we have uh, defined an object uh, for. Uh, uh, the buffer reader class here. Let's take a, a variable uh, for string class, a string, uh, a string object here. Okay. So we have taken a, a define a name uh, uh, under a string here. Okay. So now what I'm doing is uh, so just I'm putting a message here. System dot out dot print. Okay. So system dot out dot print, and I'm just saying um, so enter your uh, enter your name or something like that uh, just to print a message so now what i'm doing is uh, taking that uh, name variable and making use of our uh, br uh, object uh, buffer reader object and now we have this method known as uh, read line which is very unique uh, in java uh, the read line method is used to uh, read the string uh, string or uh, or line of text or line of uh, text okay it's used to read 
is used to is used to read uh, used to read a string used to read a string or line of text here okay so we have just read the uh, string or line of text uh, using our uh, uh, read line method and stored that in our uh, string variable uh, name. So now we can again make use of our uh, system.out.println statement and we can just uh, output them as well. Okay. So you can say that the name uh, can have a small message here. Your good name is equal to so whatever the message you want you can keep there uh, as you are just intended to output uh, some sort of uh, uh, message along with your uh, variable name here okay so just done with my program uh, if you run the program until now so if you press f6 in netbeans if you are in netbeans so it asks us for a name so i'm just giving my name here so srikanth okay press enter your good name is srikanth okay so in the same way uh, again if you run the program so if you can if you want you can do it for not only for a single uh, literal so you can do it uh, even for a line of text or a couple of names first name last name that kind of thing okay or else if you are uh, crazy enough you can just run the program and you can type some gibberish with some spaces or sentences or some sort of something like that so whatever you type you get here as an output here okay so in this way, uh, so you can make use of your uh, read line method. Uh, so just let me just put a couple of comments here, whatever we have done here. Uh, read line method. Uh, program to take a string or line of text or line of text from keyboard in Java. Okay. So whatever our intention, I have just put that in a huge comment here. So in the same way, uh, so if you if you want to summarize once again what we have done until now, we have just created an object for our uh, buffer reader class with this uh, whole big syntax here, and we have taken a variable for our uh, uh, string uh, literal or a string object here. Okay, so we have created an object for a string class, uh, or uh, we have just named it as. A, uh, name here okay so we have just uh, put a message and we're making use of this uh, read line method uh, so you can make a, you can grab a sint or you can grab a string or line of text in java and store that in a name variable and you can just you can uh, output it uh, if you wanted here okay so this is the basic stuff about uh, so how to take uh, how to take a string as an uh, input uh, from keyboard or line of text as input from keyboard using a buffer reader buffer reader class in Java okay so if uh, hope this uh, tutorial has helped you uh, a bit uh, so feel free to comment your views on this tutorial and uh, and don't uh, if you like it uh, give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channels to to get uh, stay updated with uh, more and more uh, tutorials coming in the subsequent uh, lessons on topics on Java okay so see you until then. Goodbye.